Good morning students, welcome back to 9th science, unit 12, periodic classification of elements part 2. Now come to recall what we learnt in the previous class, debris near triads and their limitations, new lands law of octaves and their limitations, Mendeleev periodic table, what are the limitations of Mendeleev periodic table and the limit features of Mendeleev periodic table and the limitations of Mendeleev's periodic table. Now, you come to the modern periodic table. In 1913, the English physicist Henry Mosley through his X-ray refraction experiments proved that the properties of elements depends on the atomic number. Atomic number you have to denote it by the symbol Z and not at on the atomic mass. Consequently, the modern periodic table was prepared by arranging elements in the increasing order of their atomic number Z. It is denoted by the symbol Z. This modern periodic table is the extension of the original Mendeleev periodic table and is known as the long form of the periodic table. Based upon this, you have to state the modern periodic law, the chemical and physical properties. Chemical means the elements reacts with acids, bases and physical properties means their melting point, boiling point of elements or the periodic function of their atomic numbers. Then, what are the features of modern periodic table? In modern periodic table, all the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number, is it? The horizontal rows are called periods. There are seven periods in the periodic table. The elements are placed in periods based on the number of shells, K shell, L, M, N, the shells in their atoms. Vertical columns in the periodic table starting from top to bottom are called groups. There are 18 groups in the periodic table. Based on the physical and chemical properties of elements, they are grouped into various families. Now, the groups in the modern periodic table. Group 1 is called alkali metals. Group 2 is called alkaline earth metals. Group 3 to 12 are called transition metals. Group 13 is called boron family. Group 14 is called carbon family. Group 15 is called nitrogen family. Group 16 is called oxygen family or chalcogen family. Group 17 is called halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Then group 18 is called noble gases or inert gases, neon, krypton, argon, xenon. So, these are called as noble gases or rare gases because these elements are inert or unreactive. Now, come to the modern periodic table of the elements. Now, modern periodic table is based upon the atomic number. All the elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number. Here, the, there are the horizontal rows are called as periods. So, there are seven periods in the modern periodic table. The first period contains only two elements, hydrogen and helium. Second period contains eight elements, lithium to neon. Then the third period contains sodium to argon. The third, fourth period contains potassium to krypton and the fifth period contains rubidium to xenon and the sixth period contains cesium to radon and the seventh period contains francium to ognison 
and here there are the vertical column from top to bottom are called as groups. There are 18 groups in the modern periodic table. The first group from hydrogen to francium except hydrogen, lithium to francium all are called as metal. So, group 1 is called as alkali metals and the group 2 beryllium to radium, radium are called uh, alkaline earth metals. Then group 2 12 are called transition metals and the group 13 is called boron family and the group 14 is called carbon family and the group 15 is called nitrogen family and the group 16 is called oxygen family or chalcogen family. Then group 17 is called halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and the group 18 is called uh, inert gases or rare gases. Okay. He except helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, these are called as inert gases or noble gases. Here in modern periodic table, you have to classify it into various blocks. The, there are four different blocks, S block, P block, D block and F block. Group 1 and 2 are called as S block elements. Group 13 to 18 are called P block elements and group 3 to 12 are called D block elements. Here the group D block elements, the elements they have the properties of both S block and P block elements and the F block elements, F block elements contains lanthanide and actinide. After lanthanum these elements, the after actinum these elements. So, this F block element is also called as inner transition elements, inner transition elements. Group 1 is called S block, group 1 and 2 is called uh, S block elements, group 13 to 18 called as P block elements, group 3 to 12 is are called as transition elements and group and the lanthanide and actinide are called as inner transition elements, it is also called as F block elements. Now, classification of elements into blocks. Number of electrons in subshells. Here the shells, we have to denote the first shell means K shell, second shell L shell, third shell M shell, a fourth shell N shell. Here the first shell contains the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated only two electrons and the second shell contains that can be accommodated by an electrons 8 electrons. The third shell contains 18 electrons and the fourth shell contains 32 electrons. In shells here you can have a maximum number of electrons in the subshells S, P, D, F. S contains only 2, ele two electrons and P block contains 6 electrons and D contains 10 electrons subshell and the F contains 14 electrons. So, we know that the electrons in an atom are accommodated in shell, shells means K shell, L shell, M shell, they are around the nucleus. Each subshell consists of one or more subshells in which the electrons are distributed in certain manner and these subshells are, are designed as S, P, D, and F blocks. Now, how come to the first one S block elements? It includes group 1, group 1 is called alkali metals, and group 2 is called as alkaline earth metals. So, they are called both of them are called as representative elements. The elements of group 1 except hydrogen all the others are metal, hydrogen is a gas, so all the others are metals and these metals they react with water to form their solution and they change the color of the vegetable dye from red to blue. Here sodium is a metal, 
it reacts with water form their bases for with the liberation of a hydrogen gas. So, the solutions are to, uh, said to be highly alkaline, alkaline means it forms basic. So, they are called as alkali metals. The elements of group 2 are called are also called as metals, but these metals they combine with oxygen to form their oxides. So, formally called as earth and these oxides produce alkaline solutions when they are dissolved in water. Hence, these are called as alkaline earth metals. The second block, P block elements. These elements are in group 13 to 18 in the periodic table. They include boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Fluorine families means halogens. In addition to noble gases, noble gases means neon, krypton, argon, xenon, except helium, these are they are called as representative elements. The P block is home to the biggest variety of elements and is the only block that contains all the three types of elements, metals, aluminum, gallium, non-metals, carbon, nitrogen, metalloids, silicon, germanium. So, this block only uh, the elements contain three types of elements, metals, non-metals and metalloids. Now, come to the third block, D block elements. It includes group 3 to 12 group are called or found in the center of the periodic table. Their properties are intermediate to that of the S block and P block elements. So, they are called transition elements because this D block elements it has the properties of both S block and P block elements. So, it is placed in the center of the periodic table. The fourth block F block elements. This F block is placed at the bottom of the periodic table. It includes 14 elements after lanthanum LA are called as lanthanoids and 14 elements after actinum AC 89 are called actinoids and these they are these elements are placed at the bottom of the periodic table. So, they are called as inner transition elements. Now, come to the topic that is what are the advantages of modern periodic table. The first one, the table is based on the most fundamental property that is this table is depends upon the atomic number that is denoted by the symbol Z. It correlates the position, correlates means it connects the position of the elements with the electronic configuration more clearly. Here, the completion of each period is more logical, logical means reasonable one. It is easy to remember and reproduce. And here each group is an independent group, 1 to 18 group, 18 groups. One position for all isotopes of an element is explained. One position means carbon, carbon, the isotope C12, 6 and C13, 6. But here only, only it is placed in the periodic table, the carbon C. All transition elements, the group 3 to 12 have been brought in the middle of the periodic table. The table completely separates from metals from non-metals. The position of certain elements which were earlier misfit, misfit means interchange in the Mendeleev periodic table are now justified because it is based on the atomic number of the elements. The last point justification means explanation have has been offered for placing the lanthanides and actinides at the bottom of the periodic table. Ok students now come to the assignment. First one state modern periodic law. Second one write the features of modern periodic table. Then third one what are the advantages of modern periodic table. Then fourth one what are periods and groups in the modern periodic table? These questions you have to learn and write one time. Okay, students, thank you.